Here, I got you something. Yeah, I was thinking about your last attempt at casting, and I figured this might be more helpful with future training. Having the manipulator as a focal point of concentration is how Amelia and I learned to cast. The crystal pickup will happen soon. We should start heading over. Once they complete the exchange, we should follow the guy to see if he leads us to their hideout. He might have other partners, so we should be on guard. I still can't think of why they'd want these crystals. Energy crystals have varying utilizations, some of which are outlawed. We have our plan. Let's get started. Hey, yo, you punks got my crystals or what? Here. 
What is this? These crystals are weak, yo! That's all we could find. Nah, nah, this ain't good, man! Sorry. Huh. <laughs> Wait, where are our coins? You'll get your payment when you deliver, yo! This is only half of what you promised! Fine. That's what I thought. Did you not see that? We should take him out now. I know you're right, but still. Let's hurry up and go. Yo, Mr. White! Jesse, how many times do I have to tell you to call me Heisenberg? My bad, but I got some crystals. Let's see. There aren't many, and they're pretty small. I don't think we'd be able to get much out of them anyway. It doesn't matter their size. Once we're done cooking them, they'll be exponentially more effective. I don't know, man. They're tiny. How does that even work? It's a simple matter of science. You serious? You can do something like that? Indeed. Yeah, Mr. White! Yeah, science! Heisenberg. Oh, right. My bad, yo. What was that? Run! Surrender and come with us peacefully. I wouldn't move if I were you. Crap, what do we do? <laughs> Why are you laughing at a time like this? The brandy no void. Quite the observation, young miss. Wait, what? You're a part of Void? I didn't sign up for this! Don't be so naive. You think the crystals were just going to magically create more energy? Your intent was to perform shadow transmutation on the crystals, to create tainted spheres. It appears confrontation is imminent. Why don't we even up the odds? Familiars. This is getting way too crazy for me. I'm out. I've got him. Unfortunately, you've disrupted my work, which means I have to start all over again. So, I'm going to get going. A 
As much as I want to go after him, our top priority is to defeat these shadow creatures. Indeed. Shadow familiars this close in proximity to a city can wreak havoc and incite widespread panic. Sounds like a challenge. The hostile shadow familiars have been vanquished. We did it! Looks like some of that training is finally paying off. Hey! Now, you're going to tell us exactly what you know. I don't know Jack Squaw. Mr. White was paying me to get crystals and that's it, yo! So you were not an accomplice to the shadow transmutation. I don't even know what the shadow transportation is! Transmutation. Exactly! Look, I made a few deliveries to him. The first couple of times he wouldn't tell me what he did, but paid some good coin. But later he said he was going to show me so I could help with his operations. He was going to give solid pay for that too, yo! <laughs> Better hope the guards believe your story. The bag of stolen crystals is in there. You didn't grab it before running out. Let's go turn him into the guards. They'll take it from here. Oh, it's you again. We found the source of your missing crystals. It's this guy? Oh man, it was all cause of Void! Uh-huh. Maybe in lockup you'll have time to think up a better story. I'm telling you the truth, bitch! Hopefully you won't have any more issues. I can't thank you all enough. You have no idea how much of a thorn in my side this has all been. As promised, there's a reward for helping us catch the culprit. Thanks again for all your help, and I hope you have a safe night. Thanks! Here you go, guys. Take this. The man won't be coming for crystals anymore, so use that to help you find a new way to survive. 
I know it seems scary, but I promise if you stick together, you'll be fine. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Good. I know you won't. Take care of yourselves, okay? And stay out of trouble. But why? Really? Thank you. Wow, the girl gave us so much! I've never seen so much money before in my life! The boy still gave a lot, though. More than we got from crystals. Where's Kara? I thought so too. Yes? No. I was pondering about the lab at the Void Hideout, which was used to perform shadow transmutations. It is the process in which shadow energy is merged with a crystal containing another form of elemental energy. This fusion causes an overwhelming surge of energy to spawn which consequently destabilizes the crystal and causes the shadow energy to become uncontrollable and very dangerous. This is what we refer to as a tainted sphere, like the one the treasurer used in Raven Pass and what was used to summon the Shadow Familiars. Perhaps not those times. However, as it is disabilized sphere, the energy is unpredictable. It's possible it will cast properly, but equally possible it will implode upon itself at any time, which would be fatal to the mage in possession of it. That's a best case scenario. Imagine if one of those crystals went off and spawned a Shadow Familiar in the middle of town. That's why Shadow Transmutation has been outlawed, even before the Treaty of Asaria. Yes, but there were legitimate users of Shadow Magic before the war. Shadow Magic is not innately harmful. It was originally used in non-destructive ways, just like any other element. That being said, a group of practitioners abused the usage of Shadow Magic, which revealed just how dangerous it can be when used in such a manner. That is what caused the eventual war in Assyria and the subsequent banning of shadow magic. Correct. It's just a little troublesome to think that there was someone performing shadow transmutation just on the outskirts of Stonecrest, and with a lot of crystals too. Even though Void was defeated, it wasn't completely wiped out, and their remaining members have just been laying low. Sorry I'm late. I met up with my contact and he came through. He said that there's some adventurer who's been talking about one of those high concentrations of energy. He's at Hearth Point right now, but probably won't be staying for too long. We should head there in the morning and see what he knows. What's the guy's name? Arton Hunt. It might sound like just a rumor, but there's always a grain of truth in a rumor. At the very least, we should be able to get a clue or two. Okay, tomorrow we'll head for Hearth Point. Since we're taking a break, would you be up for some magic training? 
We can go into the clearing so you aren't just out on the open road. I did ask. To train for magic. The actual process is a bit tricky. You have to channel the energy out of the crystal, then concentrate on the process of shaping it, refining the energy into something you can use. So to do that, you need to concentrate on the crystal's form and use your mind to alter it. Okay, you have a manipulator now, so instead of trying to channel the energy from stored within you, try to concentrate on channeling through the manipulator. Exactly! Like this! Just concentrate on the energy. Let go of your distractions. That's okay, keep trying. It's always hardest your first time. Don't give up, try again. Just focus on that energy and use the manipulator to channel it. I don't know how else to put it. Once you get it, you'll know. You just have to keep concentrating and trying. I tried it out when I bought it, and it worked. It just takes practice. we take a break for now. Maybe if you have a chance to think about it a little more, you'll have more success next time. Smells amazing. What is it? It's not done yet. All right, it's done. Oh, I didn't know camp food could taste this good. It's nothing special. We've been doing this all wrong. No more rotating cooking duty. I vote we have Zach cook for us every night. You don't have to make a big deal out of this. That's weird, man. I wonder what other talents you're hiding. It's okay, I'll find them all out sooner or later. Seriously though, nobody's cooking can compare. Especially not mine. I enjoyed it. 
really. It's not bad. So, magic training today. I know today wasn't quite what you expected, but after more practice you'll get it. Honestly, every day. Casting is not easy, and it really takes as much practice as possible. With us traveling to the next temple, this is the best way to get you to learn quickly. Like I said, nobody can cast their first time. It's something I had to work on for weeks before I was able to even manipulate a light breeze. <laughs> That's the spirit. We should probably get some rest. It's another early start tomorrow. We'll need to find this person quickly. Adventurers aren't known for sticking around in one spot for very long. Let's not waste any time then. I propose we begin our investigation at the taverns. Taverns? Yes, there are two taverns in Hearth Point. One over there, and another one facing northeast from the second gate. We don't have too much daylight left. Let's split up. We'll be able to cover more ground that way. If one tavern is a dead end, then check the other. If he's not in either place, then we'll meet back here. I concur with this plan. Any objections? Then let us proceed. Wait! We didn't talk about how the group is being split. I think it's quite obvious. What does that mean? That's definitely not it! If you have time to make ridiculous comments, then you have time to walk. Let's hurry up and get going. So, Kara mentioned Arjun has an eye patch. We should split up and see if we spot him. What do you want? What of it? It's not something to be shared. You can't just buy the experience of discovery. 
Coins are merely a construct of human greed, and you need to absolve yourself of materialistic reliance to transcend. I'd like to get back to my work, and you're taking up my time. Do you mind? Arden wasn't at the other tavern, but we heard that he's here. Did you find him? Great, you've done the hard work for us. Did you just miss the part about how that guy won't talk even for money? Finding the target is the difficult part. Getting information out of him is just a matter of being tactful. I get you. We're finally on the same page. I didn't mean beat the information out of him. You just have to give him an appealing reason to loosen his lips. Are you proposing to exploit his humanistic need to procreate with an attractive maid as a guise to extract the needed information? Uh, if you mean flirt with him to find out what we need to know, then yes. What a cunning method. I approve. Who shall be executing this plan? Wow. What's wrong with you? She's just a kid. I never thought you'd turn out to be such a creep. I believe you are mistaken about my age. I thought you'd never ask. She turned it on just like that? Staring. No accusation was made, yet your defensive disposition is quite revealing of your intent. You're thinking too much into this. was unsuccessful. M me What's with that reaction? Oh, don't get me wrong, you're cute. But I'm not sure you've got the personality needed for this type of thing. And what's that supposed to mean? You're a bit shy. I can be plenty forward. As if you fared any better. It's always worked before. You think I can do it, right? I must admit that your propriety does not lend well to the suggestion that you could entice the desired sexual attention. Even you, Amelia? Oh, okay. How about you show one of us what you've got? If you're successful, you can try. Fine. There's your target. What are you going to do? Oh, um... Hey there, sailor! What? What? Hi? Despite having an attractive figure and aesthetically pleasing features, it is now abundantly clear why Leanna has been unable to acquire a companion. Amelia! A 
this rate, the only companion she'll be acquiring is a house full of cats. You guys are so mean! You're only saying that to make me feel better. I believe we should nominate someone else. Regrettably, all of our options for this plan are exhausted. Wait, where did Zack go? Oh no, we'll get in trouble with the city guards if he is... Here. But... how did you get this? We wouldn't be able to make much progress. May as well spend the night here and get a fresh start in the morning. Now that our business has concluded, I must take my leave. Where are you going? I have an obligation I must fulfill. If I didn't know any better, I'd say it sounded like you're meeting someone. You are correct. It will not take long and I will be ready to rejoin you in the morning. Are you sure you should go alone? Surely my parents would mean me no harm. Parents? Yes. They would be very upset if I were to pass through without visiting them. You have family here and didn't tell us? I did not see the relevance. Don't you want to see them? To visit them is currently the obligation that I am going to fulfill. Good. Let's get to it then. I do not understand. We're going to meet your parents. <sighs> Very well. What do you think her parents are like? I'm not so sure about that. She grew up at the university and didn't get to spend as much time at home. Most of her behaviors were probably learned from there. I do. However, it is back at the academy. I did not anticipate our travels would lead us to Hearth Point. you were stopping by? Honey, Amy's come home! Amy? Be right there. Oh, we missed you so much. Amy, did you bring friends? Come in, come in! What an unexpected pleasure! Hello, Mother. Father. You know that we love seeing you, but what are you doing out at the university? It isn't a holiday. Was your little field study finally approved? That's wonderful! Remember what I said about how each rejection is just one step closer to success. I just knew you were bound to get one, even if it took all those tries and applications. Honey, let's not embarrass her in front of her peers. Oh, I'm sorry, I just got so excited. She's been trying for almost a year now. You must be the field lead. Uh, 
Yes, that is correct. It's nice to see you're still working hard at your studies. We're very proud of you, sweetie. But what sort of mission is this? I should think you would be the apprentice of another mage or a mage caster, rather than a mage knight. Liana is part of the mage guild. So it's an internship with the mage guild? That's very prestigious. I see. We entrust our daughter to you. Please take good care of her. I promise I will. And what about the rest of you? I assist with locating and exploring ancient sites. We have been following instances of magical anomalies in an attempt to understand and explain their occurrences. Of course, of course. You look more like a fighter rather than a mage. What exactly is your role in this group? Oh, he's my companion. He helps me secure our sights and, well... Hands off. Oh, you don't need to be shy. Just pretend it's just you and me. <laughs> Say no more. I remember what it was like to be young. And what about you? Amy, will you and your friends stay for dinner? We would not wish to impose upon you any further. We can return to the inn. The inn? Oh, nonsense. You can all stay here for the night. We certainly have enough room. Yes, we insist. I'll get started on dinner, and afterwards you can all relax. Come with me, Amy. If that is what you wish. That's wonderful. It's so nice to have you home. And we never get to meet any of your friends. In fact, you're all the first one she's brought home. Really? I hope she's not giving you any trouble. She's always been a bit hot-blooded. Are you sure we're talking about the same person? Would anyone care for seconds? Where does it all go? Hmm? You have such a healthy appetite, yet you're still so slim. Oh, you think so? I'm just lucky, I guess. Rather than luck, I would attribute it to the constant wind resistance you admit during your travels and activities. What? I can detect a constant energy utilization from your manipulator, which is creating wind friction. <laughs> You're thinking way too much into this, Amelia. It's probably just... um... magic residue you're detecting. So that's your secret. Anyway, this is really, really good. What is it? Actually, weapons are a specialty of mine, too. Your discharges, I did notice that. They're a bit unusual, aren't they? I haven't seen too many with those types of crystals. It served me well. Come on, son, lighten up a bit. No need to be so formal here. Why don't you try cracking a smile? You don't have to look so doom and gloom all the time. Oh, come on, companion. You don't want to be rude, do you? 
especially after you've already helped yourself to this delicious meal twice. Oh, wow, that's really hot. I hope we get to see that again soon. Well then, that was certainly interesting. This is my childhood room. We three will share this room. That is the spare room. You two may stay there. Are you certain it's alright for us to stay tonight? I don't want to cause any trouble for your parents. They've already been so accommodating. My parents are quite happy to receive guests. It would be an insult to refuse their invitation. Okay. Don't worry, tonight will be super fun. We'll braid each other's hair, play truth or dare, and of course, pillow fights. Is that what roommates do? Definitely. While we roomed together previously, we did not accomplish any of these tasks. I'm just learning about this now, too. Trust me, you'll love what I have planned. Girls only. Because we probably are. Oh my god, don't squirm so much! Stop! I'm really ticklish there! I got it off! Hey! Give it back! <laughs> no way! Well, if that's how you want to play... What's no fair? You're using magic! <laughs> what is going on in there? Just go. Kara got my boot off, so I was only returning the favor. Hmm? It's nothing, really. Tonight has been really fun, and Amelia's parents are so nice. It just started to remind me of my family. And then I got thinking.
I promise we'll help you find a way home. What is it? You were someone who needed help. Then I suppose things would have turned out differently. I would never leave someone who needed help. Especially if it was in my power to help them. I'm sure if it were me in that position, you'd have done the same. Sorry, I've just been thinking about home, and how it would feel if I looked at the stars and couldn't recognize a single one. Huh? Which one? That's the compass arrow. If you're ever lost, you can use the compass arrow to guide you, as it always points towards north. You have a compass arrow too? The compass arrow is called that because the stars surrounding it point to each direction, like on a compass. Do you see those stars? That's my birth sign, Elwina. She was renowned for her beauty, and that beauty was immortalized in the stars. Yeah, there's a belief that the star sign under which you are born can tell certain traits about yourself. Sometimes people use it to predict matches or fortunes. What do you think? I meant personality traits. Hopefully this place doesn't feel so lonely and foreign to you anymore. Look! A shooting star! What did you wish for? You didn't wish to go home? Oh, I wish to continue going on adventures. That's not fair! I was put on the spot! No, it would have been a lot different if I were more prepared. That's still putting me on the spot, but... Well... Let's see. First, I'd begin by telling him how handsome he looks tonight. Maybe then I'd compliment his muscles, which would give me an excuse to touch them. I'd step closer to him. Then I'd have him hold me like this. And then... I... Say... Good night. It's getting late. Good night! I'll see you in the morning.
sure you need to leave so soon? I wish we could stay longer, but we must be going. Thank you very much for your hospitality. Of course. You're all welcome here at any time. I packed all of you some food for your journey. Oh, we couldn't possibly. I won't take no for an answer. Thank you again. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks for having us. Thanks. Farewell, mother. Father. Please take care of our daughter. I will. Basically an overgrown rodent. Untrue. Sabali are not part of the rodent family. They're way cuter than rodents. That's a pretty accurate description, actually. They're very rare! Since you saw one, you're going to have good luck. I don't see how lucky it can be if it almost tripped them up. Well, they tend to hide from people. If one lets you spot it, then that must mean you're special. Such superstitions originated back when primitive societies were learning to recognize dangerous species from harmless ones. Because the Sabali feed on insects and small rodents, many would deem to be pests. They are recognized as a harmless and even helpful animal. As such, many humans wish to domesticate them as pets. But the Sabali are timid creatures and shy away from most other animals, especially ones which are considered threatening. Thus, the Sabali were regarded as lucky due to the difficult nature of witnessing one. In reality, there is no luck involved. Aw, oh, come on, Amy. Let them keep their superstitions. Uh, Amy? Sure, that's your name, right? That's what your parents called you. It is, but... My name is Amelia. Does calling you Amy bother you? I did not mean to imply that it is a bother. It is merely a surprise. Aw, well, don't worry, Amy. It's a cute name. Well, it seems that... Let's leave Amy alone and move on. What? You called her Amy! It's shorter than three syllables. Why wouldn't I call her that if she's okay with it? Well, if that is what you prefer, then I suppose you may call me as such. come around. as I believe that is how the group will refer to me from now on. Anyway, let's get going.
Ready? All right. Just like we've practiced, focus on channeling through the manipulator. You've got this. You just have to focus. Try again. Just try again. Get up! Deflect this! I said deflect! Not deflecting. You did it. He cast it? He did! He finally cast! That's amazing! I assume you used the technique which we had previously discussed. Indeed. You were making no progress on your training, and I believed a new strategy was necessary. One such method is to utilize the ingrained need for survival. When placed in high stress, dangerous situations, the human body will use all its resources to ensure survival. By putting you in such a situation, your response to protect yourself enabled you to tap into the manipulator and channel energy. Really sorry. Amelia felt this was the best way for you to learn since you didn't seem to be getting it my way. I hope I wasn't too hard on you. Does that mean you forgive me? Are you feeling up to it? If you need to take a break, we can do that. You're bleeding! Hold on, I brought bandages. It's my fault you got hurt. Sorry, I'll try to be gentle. There, good as new. Problem.
I think we stumbled into the forest of grieving. Grieving? Pipe? Isn't that the one with all the trapped souls? Trapped souls? Do you want to know why they're trapped? Nope, I do not want to know. In fact, none of us want to know. Evidently, Zack, you were misinformed as there is no such place as the Forest of Grieving. No, there definitely is a Forest of Grieving. Right, Kara? Absolutely. If that is true, it is certainly not here. You guys are the worst! Boy, boy! That's right, Pongo. Bye. This place is loaded with magical energy. The natural formation of crystals is what gives it its coloration. Boy? Boy, boy! Boy! How cute! Oh, she likes me! Another Pongo! Boy! 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 W what? So many Pongos! Boy! Boy! Too many pongos. I can't hug them all. It's okay, just hug as many as you can. Boy, boy. Boy. Boy, boy. Boy, boy, boy. Boy, boy, boy. Boy, boy. Boy, boy, boy. 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 Should. At the very least, we can't leave him. What if he's leading us to danger? It would seem that the other Pongos respect the larger Pongo. 
He may be the equivalent of a keen or other authority figure. If he wished us harm, we would already know. Besides, the most harm a Pongo can do is cuddle us. Boy. Boy? Boy, boy, boy. Boy! Boy, 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 boy. Boy. Boy, boy. It would seem the Pongos have escorted us to the temple we seek. More than likely, our Pongo friend inquired as to the reason for the migration of so many Pongos in one area. He must have been curious about their source of energy, which just happens to be the Earth Temple. No, but that rationale should be common sense. Only one way to find out. But what about the Pongos? Won't they be upset? The temples were built over areas of naturally high concentrations of energy, so the temples continuously amass energy at an accelerated rate. Therefore, the amount which we will absorb will be replenished fast enough to not adversely affect the Pongo's ecosystem. <laughs> Thank you.